here with Representative Luis Moscosa from the 1st District. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Good. So you recently had three town halls in district. How'd that go? Oh, they went very well. I was very impressed with the number of people who came out to the three town halls. We figured over 400 people came to, to the three of them. Our first town hall was in Bothell at the North Shore Senior Center, and that had the largest crowd, easily 200 people or so were there. And, uh, and that went on for, well, the, we had 90 minutes, but we barely got out of there in time before we had to rush off to uh, the Cathcart Elementary for our second one. Uh, that was the northern part of the district, and that also had a, had a nice representative number of people there. I wasn't so sure we'd get as many folks, but uh, there was probably 60, 70 people there, I think. And then we had to turn around and rush back down to Mount Lake Terrace Library, where we finished up again with, an, with an, an, almost another couple hundred people there. Wow. If you had to say that there was a theme in all three, what would that be? The theme was that people did not want to see any more cuts. They recognized that there was a problem with a lack of revenue to provide programs, and they're there to express their concerns about not wanting to lose the programs that they relied on. Can you remember specific examples of what people said? Well, the biggest one probably had to be education. A lot of folks were there, educators as well as families and, and some children who were talking about the specific programs that they needed. And they knew exactly the particular program, whether it was an education or the ombudsman program was something else that people really wanted to maintain somehow. So the, a very rich dialogue, a lot of good questions, and a very uh, responsive you know, interaction between all three legislators and the folks that were there. So one of the things that you were telling me earlier was that people were concerned about the budget and how the money is spent. Yes. As regards the budget questions, these and some other charts were available to the, uh, the town halls for people to look at. And as you can see here, you know, nearly 90% of our budget is dealing with education, DSHS, higher education, health, and safety. So when people ask the question, why are you cutting programs in education? Why are you cutting health and, and human services? Well, that's because that's where most of our, our revenue goes to. And when we have a revenue shortfall like we do now, then um, there's nothing we can do. The question is, how much do you cut from each of those areas? And I understand that 70% of the educational budget is protected by the Constitution, so you can't even touch that. That is correct. If 70% of this, 42% of the budget is protected, then we're looking at this other 30 to 40% here to make cuts. And again, that's back in uh, health and human services higher education, and we know what's happening there, even the possibility of raising tuition for, for students, which is only going to make it more difficult for Washington students to, to go to higher to college, and then, of course, health and safety. So when we talk about funding education programs, that has to come attached also with some social services to make sure that kids that don't have a lot of resources can actually be prepared to go to school. Yes, an example of that is making sure that the children are fed and are, and are not going to school hungry so that they can be prepared to study. Um, those, that's, and that comes out of the area that we're looking at now because that's not something that's protected or mandated by the, the Constitution. Uh, even, even with the education piece, this does not cover early learning. Like higher ed, early learning and higher ed are not part of the paramount duty in this state. And like a lot of people, I am very concerned that we do have a revenue shortfall. We cannot maintain the budget that we know has been necessary to do this in the, in the past. But uh, the money's not there, so we're going to have to make cuts. All right. Well, thank you very much, and we will touch base with you again soon. Thank you.